No. Don't you, don't you hate that? You've hit a great tee shot and then, you know, over water, and I've just fatted it straight into the water. If that is a situation that you recognize and it plagues your game, then this video is all around how to get rid of that fat shot. We're gonna go through, um, we're gonna go through three, um, th three drills, two of them are technical, and then for, for the last drill, we're gonna come right back out here and give you a really good on-course strategy so that you don't hit that fat shot under pressure. Right, still wiping the mud off my off my club and my uh, my clothing here. Um, so, I mean, the, the first thing with fat shots we need to understand is it's not necessarily, in fact, nearly always, it's not a problem that the club's gone too low. I mean, that would be intuitive, wouldn't it, to think that I've just driven the club too too low into the ground. But you know, we do we do need a divot, and if you you know if you go to a go to a driving range or a tour event, you'll see divots ripped up all the way along the along the range. We need a divot where we need the ball first. So it's not about getting too low or too high. It's about getting the low point of your swing in the right place. And I say that because, you know, I, I meet many students who, ha after having had a, a spate of hitting top, uh, um, hitting fat shots, would then be a little bit reluctant to hit the ground. And then they're sort of moving up and then we're into top shots, etc. And we're never really going to get that, that solid strike with compression. So let's just understand completely what I'm saying there. So with an iron, you know the, the swing the swing is this is this circular arc isn't it you know the club the club swings around us as an up and down motion and it makes this circular arcing motion and there's the ball the bottom of the circle wants to be over here i mean about three or four inches past the ball and of course if the bottom of the circle is past the ball it means the club is still moving down as it strikes it we take the ball first and then we rip up the divot so that's what we're going to be working on today. How can we get our low point consistently past the ball? And there's two, there's two really key um, features to that. One of which is that when we're, when we're swinging, that the, the club is coming into the ball and it's leaning forwards. So if we think about that, that motion of you know, the club making a circle, it has, a, has sort of this action to it. You can see that when the club is, is moving down, it is also leaning forwards. Once it starts to, to tilt backwards, then inevitably it, it's going to be moving upwards. And that we, that's when we get the low point too far behind or we even start, start thinning it as well. So to get the club moving down and the low point beyond the ball, sh forward shaft lean is really key. So we need that motion. Um, and if, you, and if, you're, if you're a golfer and maybe you're just getting going and in the back of your mind, you're really trying to get the ball up in the air, then you're probably adding some of this motion to it. So the, the big thing there is to try and drive the ball low and forwards and in that way, deliver the club with shaft lean. And then, you know, moving, moving on from that, we have our other key other key principles so ball position is, ob is obviously key. So I mean, I've got an eight iron here and I'd be, I'd be playing that um, right in the middle of my feet. Um, the further, the further you move the ball, the harder it is to get your low point forwards. The, the further back it is, of course, the easier it is to get the ball first, but we're going to be taking loft off of it. So we need to, we need to get that low point just right for you. But the standard position with an A time would be in the middle of our, in the middle of our feet there. Um, and then an impact, you know, impact is, is not the same as, as setup. Um, now, for a lot of my, a lot of students that kind of you know come for an assessment with me, their impact does look exactly like their setup. But if you look at pros, you, you would never you would never um, confuse um, a golfer's impact and setup. So, so if I just take setup here, impact for a an established golfer would be something more like that. So you can see as I'm going from setup to impact, there's a, there's a few very subtle changes. The most obvious one, of course, is the shaft lean. So the club's leaning forwards. And you can see as you lean the club forwards, if we just come in here a little bit, Louise, let's just have a look at the, the left wrist here. As I lean my club forwards, you know, there's something that's going on with that left wrist and it starts, it starts kind of cupped and angled as we, as we take an orthodox grip. But as I lean the club forwards, that wrist needs to, to flatten. Equally, the right wrist would have the opposite effect. So the wrists are sort of pushing the handle forwards and changing their angles. So, Back to our, our sort of simple little drill here. Uh, there's impact, sorry, there's setup. Impact has forward shaft lean. And you can see as well, my pelvis is more sideways. So it's moved more towards the target subtly. And there's a lot more pressure on that front foot 
and there's a bit of rotation. So there's a few things going on, but um, that is a really simple drill to, to really kind of get in your mind where you want to return to. So let's, uh, let's give that a try. And, and this for me would be the, the, the starting place for anybody who's hitting it fat. Can we go from setup to impact? Lean the shaft forwards, rotate, the hips and get more weight on that front foot so just recognizing recognizing that i think is really important uh, and that way you know we've got an accurate concept of of how we're trying trying to return to the ball so that's the concept of of impact just to reiterate so we need low point past the ball that's that's the situation with you know when we're hitting it fat the low points in the wrong place so low point past the ball we need shaft lean at impact and we need the weight forwards and, and the body slightly rotated um, and then to, to kind of to, to really kind of bring these these concepts into your swing you need to choose the right drills so uh, in the for the rest of the video i'll take you through a couple of drills and please stay to the to the end one because this is probably the biggest error i see golfers making especially uh, when they're under pressure okay so so uh, drill number one um i think this is probably the the, the best drill to, to hone impact and it's not just about getting the position it's about getting the, the movement right as well and really developing that skill of how we deliver the club and the willingness to, to take ball then divot so you'll remember that we you know we said impact wants to be wants to be weight forwards and, and club leaning forwards and that um, is a little bit like how we how we learn to chip so let's let's learn to play some some long chips and deliver the right kind of strike so drill one looks like this I'd start with the my normal sort of golf stance but I'm going to start with a little bit of weight forwards and some shaft lean and just chip the ball low and forward so i'm looking for I minutes mean, an eight time i'm just going to chip it maybe i don't know 30 or 40 yards in the air and in doing so keeping the weight on that foot and getting that feel for delivering shaft lean and turning the body through as i do that and that way ball first then divot i'll do that again lean forwards bit of shaft lean deliver shaft lean, turn the body through. Should we just come around this way, Luis? Okay, lean forwards, lean the club forwards, turn through, keeping the shaft leaning, leaning forwards driving the ball low as I go. I don't know if you can hear that, but we've got, we've got ball first, ball first, then divot. And then of course we can, we can then just increase that motion. So once you've got a feel for the, for the movement through the ball, you can then hit it a little bit further, but still with that kind of chipping, chipping motion. So leaning left, shaft lean, a little bit further back. And I'm gonna hit this, I don't know, maybe a maybe hundred yards this time. And that's gone 100 yards and nice and low and of course this also leads nicely into learning to drive it low under the wind but we'll we'll save that for for another video okay moving on then to uh to drill number two so you know i i do a lot of that that kind of drill till i'm, till I'm happy with the concept and then i put it to the test so drill two um is actually an extension of drill one but we are we are putting ourselves to the test we've got some really accurate feedback um, and this is the perfect place to do it so i'm here at monterey beautiful um beautiful fairways but it's um, bermuda grass and the lies are quite tight and if you haven't got the bottom of your arc in the right place you will get found out um so drill number two as um, you can see here i've got four balls in a row um, I've also set a cane up just to kind of um, indicate the line of balls make sure they're all kind of in that line and using using our drill number one so that sense of leaning left and, and delivering sort of shaft lean in a sort of long chip version i'm going to hit the balls along the line and of course what we're looking for is that the divots are consistently um past the ball you know if we get one wrong that's okay it's just it's just feedback isn't it so i'll start to, i'll start maybe at this end Okay, so we have a quick look at that. We can see um, the divot started well, maybe a tiny bit back there, but the low point is, is uh, significantly forwards. So the low point of the divot is, is somewhere here. Let's try that again. Next ball. Similar. 
little bit steep on that one. Let's see if I can be less, less steep and, and less choppy. That was nice. So that's interesting. So I was, I was less steep on that one and you can see that the, 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 the divot started a little bit further forwards. I preferred that one. So I still had the, I still had the shaft leaning forwards and my weight moving forwards, but there was less intent to really kind of drive it down. Um, let's try one more. And there we go. Okay, not perfect. That one I was actually probably a little bit forward. The ball was okay, but I just sort of nipped the back of it. So my low point was probably too far, too far forwards there. Um, if I pull the cane through, you'll see that that is not, I'm a bit disappointed if I'm honest, that is not as, as accurate as I would like to be. But you know, that's the point of any drill. It's given me, given me some clear feedback. This one started a tiny bit behind, but I mean, the strike felt okay. Similar, a bit steep. That was a nice one and that one i just got a little bit ahead of it and put the bottom of the arc too far forwards so if you spent some time with time with that drill i mean this is information um that you probably wouldn't wouldn't um normally be paying attention to but by by doing the drill as i say you've got some accurate feedback and you you can really make these sort of small adaptations and and hone that that skill of getting the bottom of your arc in the right place and with the right angle of attack as well Okay, so drill, drill number three, you, you, you know, so we understand the concept of impact and low point. We've, we've done some drills on how to get the shaft lean and the body moving through. And we've, we've developed that skill of, of being able to kind of squeeze the ball off the turf. Yet on the course, we're still hitting it fat. Um, yeah, and I see this, I see this quite a bit. Now, you know, when people hit it fat, there's, there's obvious kind of swing causes to that. Maybe, maybe their weight's not moving forwards. Maybe they're casting it. Um, yeah, there are, there are the sort of obvious sort of technical areas, but sometimes we look at a swing um, and technically it looks solid, but still, still we get fat, um, fat contacts. Oftentimes when you speak to a player about this, they would have had a history of hitting it fat. And now there is an anxiety around contact that leads to an over-focus on the ball. And now an over-focus on the ball leads the player to be ball bound. So ball bound is a situation where because of that over focus, the swing hasn't got the same kind of dynamics uh, and acceleration of, of, of the body segments through in the way that it would do, say when you're in flow on the driving range. So, I mean, if I were to kind of do a caricature of, of being ball bound, too much focus on the ball, you know, leads to trying to swing at the ball rather than making that confident fluid movement and athletic movement through it. So the exercise is this, exercise number three is, can you back yourself? Can you commit yourself to a bold fluid motion that gets to the end of the follow through and then hold it for two or three seconds? Let's give that a go. So when I say, you know, don't over-focus on the ball, look in its general direction by all means, but you know, we know what it's like when you're really kind of zoned in on it. That's not how good players relate to the ball. So I'll have a practice swing. And can you then hold, hold your balance at the end? Can I nail my follow through and just trust that impact is gonna happen? And sure enough, you know, I completely committed to the end of the swing. There's my divot, nicely, nicely past the ball. So it's a bit paradoxical, really. You know, the more you, the more you think about strike, probably the worse it's gonna be. So, so we've gone through the drills. Here, here I am back in that, oh, back in that scenario. Um, we don't normally get a second chance, but here we are. So we've done the drills. I've got the correct shaft alignment and movement through the ball. Can I, can I over, with a shot over water, commit to a bold motion through the ball and just getting to the, to the end of my finish and holding it. Full commitment, not thinking about the ball, just thinking about holding my follow through. And that was much better. Why didn't I do that the first time? So there's a progression of, of three drills that will take you from um, hitting it fat through learning some, understanding the concept, learning some skills, and, and a great um, 
A great exercise to do on the course that will really kind of set your intentions in the right place to make bold and fluid swings. If you've enjoyed the video and you've taken something out of it, then please click subscribe. It helps me create more content like this and hit the notify bell and make sure you don't miss out on any more coaching videos like this one.